One of the great things about living in Canada during the winter is the opportunity to take uh, part in fantastic activities outdoors, whether that be skiing or snowshoeing or sledding or just being outside and skating and, and fun things like that. But it's also mindful to dress accordingly and to take precautions about um, what winter actually has to offer us. Canadian winters are changing basically. The temperatures are swinging quite dramatically from one day to the next. We can have uh, temperatures of 10 degrees and minus 10 the following day. So very important to be mindful of the weather and dress accordingly. So that means covering up with you know, tubes, scarves, face protectors, gloves, having the proper footwear, proper socks as well, and being very mindful of how we're dressing our young little people. So it's very important that people are mindful of not only the footwear that they're using, but also the way that they are walking. Uh, you know, taking smaller steps, being mindful of actually what's under that little uh, layer of snow is very important as well. Uh, we need to kind of slow things down, we need to take smaller strides, almost walk like a bit of a penguin to make sure that our feet are properly stabilized on the ground. And it also gives us an opportunity to check out how slippery the ground might be. Shoveling again is a Canadian tradition and certainly people need to be mindful of the physical requirements that are needed for that kind of activity. Essentially people come in to see us in the ER department after sometimes overdoing it and overstraining themselves. Maybe they've thrown their back out, maybe they're having some shoulder pains. So important to take your time to do it at your own pace. Of course, unfortunately, it's also a time where people recognize that they might be experiencing some sort of cardiovascular event like a heart attack or angina. So people want to be in the lookout when they're physically active, like shoveling. If they're experiencing any kind of pain in their chest, maybe pain that goes into their jaw or down their arms, maybe it makes them feel breathless, they feel nauseous like they might uh, throw up. You know, these are signs that are not normal and if that is ever to happen, they should stop what they're doing and seek medical attention immediately. Hypothermia is a very serious condition. It's thankfully relatively rare, um, but things can increase the risk of people developing hypothermia, where our entire body core uh, temperature starts dropping to a dangerous level and starts affecting the vital organs that we have inside. So things like being extreme of age, so very young children and elderly patients can sometimes run into problems like this. Uh, people are on certain medications, heart medications and blood pressure medicines as well can also be at risk of developing hypothermia. Uh, and as well, people who are outside and actually have consumed alcohol or drugs and maybe their, their mental states have been impaired may not recognize that their core body is actually dropping. You know, frostbite is different in some regards where it usually is an injury to the appendages, so usually the toes, you know, the hands, the feet, the ears, the nose, those kind of things that are typically a bit more exposed. And it's when the tissue itself actually becomes injured by the drop in, in, in circulation that is impacted by the low temperature. If people come in from the, the cold are able to warm themselves up, avoid rubbing the hands for example, but really immersing them in a bath of warm water, uh, moving the hands around. If within 15 or 20 minutes they're not noticing like their circulation is improving and things are feeling back to normal again, they should certainly seek medical care because uh, we have other techniques to rewarm that tissue to make sure it doesn't become damaged. And you know those kind of things go a long way to actually preventing these kind of injuries.